So today we're working on the EJ205 uh, JDM engine on ABCS. So I didn't put it on video because didn't have enough uh, viewers on my last video. So today I ended up installing the JDM oil pump, which you torque all the bolts to five foot pounds. So relatively easy and then finished putting all of the, the pulleys on and timing the engine. You have to make sure the marks are lined up. There's a mark there that's lined up, mark there that's lined up, same way there. Those two, just they're a little off, I'm gonna fix that, and then this one, so it needs to be more pulled up. That, as well as I installed the AC bracket, TGVs, had to fix a few fuel lines that we did find. So these two fuel lines were cut previously. So there's a fuel line that goes over here because it's where the, all the fuel stuff is. So those lines would connect there. Replace the PCB valve since I had an extra one. I'm just slowly putting it together. I'll begin another shipment of uh, some more parts. I ordered an oil pan thermostat, drive belts, and spark plugs. And if uh, we get enough viewers, I will put that one also up to uh, so everybody can see. So for my turbo feed lines that I needed to block off because this was a twin turbo engine. So I did put a, a, a drain plug, 12 by 125 drain plug right there and right on the back of the engine to block off the passenger side turbos or driver side turbos that we won't be using on this vehicle we're still at this end of the turbos so have the one of the oil feed lines still trying to figure out what i'm going to do with the return line which that's where the hole would be right there but we'll get that figured out shortly to get this engine up and running engine stand so i'm going to be ordering an inlet for this vehicle before i put the it's easier to put the inlet in before i put the crossover pipe it's really hot today here in colorado Everything's going pretty decent, so I hydro dipped all of my interior pieces, carbon fiber. So that's all good. Still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the airbag, but that, everything is coming together very seamlessly smoothly. Thank you for watching, and the more subscribers I get, the more videos I can do and be more precise. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll be posting another video shortly. So I'm working on this car that has uh, basically brake, brake squealing while driving. Pulled off the tire brake caliper. Examining the brakes. It's all loose. yeah has the wrong brake pads so we're gonna swap them out for brand new brake pads so we're pulling this Forester engine getting it close uh, we're gonna be doing new head gaskets and uh, timing belt head gaskets like crazy so we're getting it out so we're getting the radiator out already got a lot of it out so we'll be getting most of it done It takes a few hours to get everything ready to pull, but the engine turns out pretty easy.